Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about Tesla's deliveries for Q1. They are record setting. Tesla is proving once again in quarter one, 2021, that they are able to not only uh, produce and deliver uh, as many vehicles as they did last year, uh, but also making a new record for 2021 in Q1 when deliveries are traditionally a lot lower than they are in other quarters. So definitely a shout out to Tesla. Awesome work uh, delivering over 180,000 uh, vehicles, actually producing over 180,000 and delivering almost 185,000. So that is great. And they are well on their way to hopefully getting close to a million uh, vehicles produced and delivered in 2021 that would be incredible i believe the target right now is still somewhere in the 750,000 uh, car range but definitely with uh, giga berlin and giga texas uh, coming online uh, this year we should be seeing a lot more deliveries as well as we have seen the shanghai uh, giga shanghai start to deliver Model Ys out of that factory, and therefore we're gonna see a lot more uh, Teslas being delivered and produced in all parts of the world. It is an amazing time to be uh, a fan of Tesla, and really excited to see how many cars they can produce this year, and just, they can't even meet the demand. They obviously, they, they delivered almost 185,000 vehicles when they were only able to produce 180,000. So that is incredible for a traditionally for auto sales slow quarter in quarter one. They're still ramping up, still going going strong. So going to be interesting to see what they do this year. I'm getting really excited about uh, seeing some new deliveries for that Model S to see what that looks like with the new... Um, automatic drive so it will go into verse and drive all on its own you can have it set to do that uh, just to determine which way you think it's going to go so it's going to be really interesting to see once they start getting those delivered uh, what that looks like and how that works I definitely see how that's going to be very beneficial in the future because obviously once the cars are full self-driving, that's going to be an obvious feature that you want. You're going to want the car to be able to go into drive and reverse and determine when it's appropriate to do so. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what that actually does. Um, but I'm really excited just to see what that new Model S looks like, what it actually looks like once they get it out there and they deliver it. People get some firsthand impressions and start putting that out there. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of information on that. And they actually had that shut down for quarter one, the production of the S and the X. And so they switched over to the new designs for those and are producing those out now and getting them in to people's hands just on a small amount now i believe so hopefully we'll be seeing some of that stuff coming out soon and that should definitely ramp up production for q2 there's gonna be a lot of demand for that new refresh people have been waiting for a refresh for model s and x i know i am pretty excited about uh getting a model s or a model x someday not in the cards right now but maybe someday and obviously we're super excited about the Cybertruck, which is going to be uh, coming out later this year. Got a few orders for some Cybertrucks, so definitely looking forward to that. And hopefully we will see the new uh, FSD beta come out and be available to download for anybody who has purchased FSD. Uh, that includes me. So hopefully I'll be able to get that soon this month. That's what we're hoping for. And I'll be able to do some videos on that. So I just want to do a quick update on what's going on with Tesla these days and definitely going to have some more videos coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>